Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. But first we have to erase the old chalk drawing. This is always a little bit sad and I am using a wet cloth to do this so that there is less dust in the air. I'm using my Sargent Art chalk pastels for this chalk drawing and I also made myself a little sketch of what I wanted to draw. It does turn out a little bit differently in the end, but a lot of the text is still included. I'm going to start by making a beaker and this is to show a chemical reaction. This chalk drawing is going to illustrate the difference between chemical and physical changes in chemistry. And I start out with this illustration because I thought it would be beautiful and illustrate the point of a chemical change. But after this project was done, I thought it would have been better to show a chemical change that we were actually going to do in an upcoming lab rather than this one, which I chose because of its beauty. I wanted a little bit more color on the chalkboard for this particular illustration. So I did do the beaker a couple of times and I chose one that's still really large for this chalk drawing because it's the main illustration. The rest is going to be mainly text and I wanted something that was going to be beautiful so I chose something with more color. And then I went ahead and I added some details like the different markings on the flask as well as a little bit of dimension with some highlights in order to make it look like it was glass. Then I'm, I put the formula at the bottom but my daughter hasn't gone over this part of chemistry yet and it's really something that we're going to be saving for later but I wanted to include it anyway as part of the chalk drawing. I'm going to title this chemistry and then the rest of the title is The Science of Change, but that red was really light and so I'm going to go over it with some white chalk. And I go ahead and I write the rest of the text all in cursive, but I actually don't like the way that it turns out. So I erase it all and I start again with the same title, but I wanted to include more about the physical and chemical changes but I still erase it one more time so that I can really get the text in a clear format. And I removed all of the extra text that I had regarding the differences between biological sciences and physics because chemistry lies right in the middle as a physical science. But I, I left all of that out because I really wanted to focus on the chemical and physical changes because that's going to be the next section of our chemistry main lesson block. It's something that I think could have come before combustion, but I am including it now with several labs that are not in either of our chemistry main lesson resources for the first section on combustion. So there may be these labs later on in the chemistry main lesson book, but I am going to include some of these labs right now. And they're really simple ones that can easily depict the differences between chemical and physical changes. And we are including some that are tasty. We're going to head to the kitchen for some of these labs. And I think that that's going to be a really enjoyable way to do chemistry. And it's something that I love to include in whatever main lesson blocks we're doing. I love to head to the kitchen. It's especially easy when it comes to history, but when we can add it in other main lesson blocks, I especially enjoy that. So now I have these two columns, one with chemical, one with physical, and then I have in the center energy, products, attributes, and reversibility. And on either side, I have how chemical and physical changes differ depending on, say, the energy. So physical has little or no energy change, while chemical changes include a release or absorption of energy. So I went through and I added all of those. I tried to add a little bit of illustration with each of them, kind of ran out of ideas when it got to attributes and reversibility. I just wrote everything in reverse. Here's the final look at the chalk drawing. I really love the way that it turned out. It probably won't be up for very long as we're moving through this section pretty quickly, but I do like that I included a chart next to the illustration. I think this is going to be very helpful as we move into this section of our chemistry main lesson block. I hope that you enjoyed this chalk drawing. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video where you can find more of our chemistry tutorials, as well as links to the resources that we've used for our chemistry main lesson block, as well as our chemistry unit study. You can find the link to that blog post in the description box below. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.